Okay, so we're looking at um, what would happen with this this scenario here. We've got uh, an object. It's got a force of three newtons pulling it upwards, a force of four newtons pulling it downwards. It's currently moving with a velocity up, um, and the size of the arrows represent the size of the velocity or the size of the force. Now, because you've got three going up, four going down, the resultant force is one newton downwards which means that the um, that it's going to slow down. And I've showed that it's slowing down by reducing the size of this velocity arrow here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, in, my, in picture two, the, in fact, maybe I should do, um, I, get, I should get one of these black arrows as well here. Um, and we'll just, we'll make that a bit smaller and we'll say that's that's representing uh, one newton. Now, a good thing to realize here is that um, velocity and forces we don't add them there because, and that's one of the reasons why I use them use different um, colors. Um, we don't add the forces and the velocity. What we do, what we do is um, is we realize that forces affect velocity, but we don't add them together. So the force will be the same on this one and on this one and on this one. It doesn't matter how quickly it's going or what direction it's moving. It just keeps the resulting force is always going to be, for this situation, it's always going to be one newton. There are other situations that sometimes maybe for some reason the velocity affects the force. But in this case, we're just simply saying there's maybe... Um, uh, there's um, uh, there's somebody pushing it upwards and somebody pushing it downwards, and the person pushing it downwards is pushing harder. Okay, so we're going to forget about anything else. It's not it, nothing to do with air resistance, nothing to do with um, a motor or anything like that. We're just imagining some random upwards force and some random downwards force, and so the constant force is one newton. Okay, and we're trying to ask ourselves what happens when we apply this constant force of one, of one newton. So I'm saying what would happen is that after a little bit, the velocity would slow down. Eventually, it would slow down to be um, nothing. So eventually, it would it would be totally still. But um, so we could say velocity equals zero. Okay. Um, I could actually... Oh, actually move that down here um, and when the velocity is equal to zero that's only for a very very tiny amount of time for the smallest amount of time you can possibly imagine because at that point because the force is pulling it downwards the, it's going to start to speed up in the opposite direction so we have a little force going downwards in the opposite direction Yeah. Maybe we could imagine that a ball or an object is moving upwards and I'm applying a constant downward force of one newton. The force stays the same. It's always one newton downwards. As, as I start to apply that force, I will slow the object down. Eventually, the object will be so, will be so slow it's not moving at all. But I don't, I don't stop pushing at this point. I still keep pushing. I'm still applying that force of one newton. And so what happens? It now speeds up downwards. And if I carried on doing it, it would keep speeding up again and again and again. So, that, so that's what would happen. Now, let me just start that video.